In this video, I will show you how to block unwanted sites on your home network for free using OpenDNS.com. Five easy steps to achieve this. I will show you the details of these steps in this video. Step one, open a browser and create an, an account in OpenDNS.com. So go to OpenDNS.com, click on Consumer, scroll down and search for Home OpenDNS Home Free. Click on Sign Up and using your email address, create an account. So here put your email address. I'm putting an example email address. Choose your country and then put a strong password. When you put the password and all the information, click on get a free account. Your account will be created and you'll be sent an email to your address, to the email address that you used so that, so that you can confirm the account. At this stage, you need to put the name servers of OpenDNS on your router. To do this, copy the IP addresses in front of you and then go to your home router administrator page. Usually it is 192.168.0.1. Log in to your router. Here I have a D-Link router, so the administration page will change according to the router you're using. But in general, the settings are the same. So go to settings and then internet. Click on advanced settings. You have to search for primary DNS server. Pass the, per the first IP address that you got from OpenDNS. Go back to go OpenDNS and copy the second IP address and put it on the secondary DNS server. Once you finish putting, putting the addresses, click on save and wait for your router to take the new configuration. This usually takes about 30 seconds. The next step is to add your network to OpenDNS. Now that we created the account, click on the link you received on the email that was sent to you automatically by OpenDNS, and then click on Add Network. So the email will log you on automatically to OpenDNS, the account you created. Click on Add Network. The network is automatically detected by OpenDNS and it should be populated here. Here, of course, I'm putting an example network. Just leave everything by default and click on Add This Network. Give the network a friendly name. Here I'm naming it My Home Network. You can name it whatever you like. And then you see at the bottom, you have a link to download the OpenDNS updater for Windows. The OpenDNS updater for Windows will update OpenDNS with your network's IP each time you reboot the router that is connected to your ISP. So it's important to download this file at this stage, we are going only to download it. We'll install it later and I'll explain how to install it. Click on Done. And then here, click on your IP address and select the categories you want to block from your home network. You have pre-selected categories, high, moderate, and low. I'll show you a little bit on the custom. By clicking on custom, what are the categories that you can select? So you can go with either category and then you can fine tune it to your liking. So here are all the categories that will be selected or that you can select. It's important to select proxy anonymous so that the security cannot be bypassed by connecting to a VPN provider. So here I'm selecting moderate and I'm clicking on apply. And then once again on custom and see how it selected all the information or all the categories that are pre-configured in moderate. 
at this stage they are okay here you have the option to always allow a website and to always block also a website here i'm showing you an example that i'm always allowing youtube and then this is all that you need to do to select the categories step five is so to install and configure OpenDNS updater so the file that you downloaded earlier click on it and just install it click on install it will install automatically and then keep start open dns updater checked and click on closed sign in with the email that you created earlier with the password that you created earlier here also i'm using an example email put in the password and click on sign in So this application will always run in the background here it will put automatically your email and your IP address the first time it runs it has a small error you can ignore it at this stage these are the settings just leave everything by default I'm just showing you the settings here click on OK or cancel now I'm closing the application and you see on the top right now on the bottom right corner it's always running so this is it i hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful